Welcome back, my amazing fourth grade artists. Eric Carl, Turtle Collage, Part 2. The materials you'll need today are your art project from last week, some watercolor paints, and some salt. All right, boys and girls, let's get started. Welcome back, boys and girls, for Part 2 of our Turtle Collage. You're going to need three things today. You're going to need your project from last week. You're going to need watercolor paints. And I want you to get some salt. And yes, I mean salt that you use when you're eating food. I went ahead and put some salt in a dish, but we're going to need salt for the end of our project. And you'll see why when we get to it. It's a surprise. All right, so what I want you to do is using your blue and you could use your purple watercolors. So remember, when we use watercolors, we make a nice puddle inside our watercolor paints before we start. So make sure that you get a lot of water in there because we need a lot of water for this part of the project. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to use, we're going to use a lot of water in the blue and the purple. And what I want you to do is you're going to, this is called a wash, and we're going to be creating a wash across our paper. And you're gonna need a lot of extra water when we do this wash. So once you get your paintbrush really good with blue or purple paint to start, I want you to dip it back in your water cup one more time before you go across. Then you're going to take your paintbrush and you're gonna go across your paper back and forth and you can go back and forth from purple and blue. You could just use blue. If you wanna just use purple, that's fine. But what we're doing is we are going across our entire paper. The reason that I wanted you to use crayons when you, were made, when you colored in your turtle was for, was for whenever we add the paint, like right now. Crayons are made by using lots of wax is one of the main ingredient in a crayon. And wax and water are not friends. They will not mess each other up. They like to stay away from each other as much as possible. So what this paint will do is it will bead up when you go across your crayon. And I, hopefully you can see that in the video. You can see how it's kind of beading up. It's not going to dry the parts that are on top of our, uh, on top of the crayon. It's not, the, the paint won't dry on top of it. What it will do though is fill in all the spots that you might have missed the white spots, and even if you think you colored in with a crayon really well, the chances are you still have some white spots that you didn't even realize that you had. But the nice part about doing this project is that we kind of want to have a couple white spots to see because now it makes our turtle look like it is in fact swimming in the ocean. So I want you to fill your entire paper with your paint all the white spots so now you're really covering all those white spots and make sure that your paper is really wet in certain spots and if you have to go back over with a little paint and water you can do that and that this is where the salt is going to come in and now you're going to take your salt and you're going to sprinkle it on the parts that are really really wet and you want to even you don't want to go back over the parts that you sprinkled with salt with your paintbrush, but if you need to go back and re-wet some parts of your paper, then you can go back and re-wet it and sprinkle it with the salt. But just remember that you went on that area so that you don't go back over it. But you can go back in the spots that you haven't added salt yet. Sprinkle your salt on the wet parts. Then on to another part. So down here, I'm going to get it nice and wet with paint. So I'm going to actually do a whole other little layer of paint because I want this part to really show with the salt. So now I'm going to sprinkle my salt all over this paper. And now when I want you to set your paper somewhere really safe so that it can dry all the way dry. And then next week, we're going to see what kind of textures our salt added to our paper that's gonna make it really look like it's underwater. All right, set it somewhere safe and I'll see you next week. Don't forget to put your project in your art box until next week. See you next time.